pause what you're doing because the perfect brunch experience has arrived. It's called the Catterday Brunch and it's as cat themed as it gets. In fact, David couldn't make it over to the kitchen just yet because he's getting in some time with one of the stars of the brunch. I know he's hanging on. Apparently he's a big fan of Marvin's too. Have fun, David. We're gonna let him get some snuggle time over there, which means I get to eat. I also get to talk to Bella and Karesty uh, of the library and, and 412 Food Girl just to talk about this wonderful mashup. So yes. Bella, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I've been wanting to host a brunch and I was like, who doesn't love cats? Yeah. So we came up with Catterday Brunch. I was talking to <coughs> Karesty and she was down, so then we, Teamed up with For All Kitties, so proceeds of the tickets do go to For All Kitties, and the kitties will be there, adoptable. That's wonderful. So, oh, we're just seeing <laughs> some of them. How cute. Yes. I love that you're all combining your passions to yeah. make this happen. And of course, there's gonna be a great lineup of food, which is why we're over here in the kitchen. Um, the library is on Carson Street, library on Carson in the south side. Tell us about what you curated for this special menu. So we have bottomless mimosas every Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 3. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make all of the menu items for this brunch cat themed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So Bella so that, and I, yeah, go That's ahead. the feline French toast. It's so good. It's so good. It's delicious. I don't know what's on top of it, but it's so good. Berries and a vanilla Vanilla cream. cream sauce. It's very delish delicious. Yeah, so, so good. There will be a custom menu during the brunch, and these will be on it. Mm -hmm. Next is the Clossum breakfast burger with the most perfect egg it that you might have to smash. You, wait, hold on. I want everybody at home to see this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just smash this right on top. Yep. Right? Get that going. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yoki. <laughs> And tell me about the potatoes too. These look so good. So those are our breakfast potatoes. Our mm. staff, our kitchen staff are meat guys. So this is a grade of ground beef that they hand selected. They're very proud of this burger. So It's my favorite <laughs> on it? the menu. Yes. Okay, then I have to get in. You have take to. Take a bite about it. Yeah. So how did you pick the charity? So we have four kitchen staff that all have kitties as well as some front of house staff and they were adopted from For All Kitties. So mm -hmm. the guys were used to working mm -hmm. with their team mm -hmm. and they've been wonderful to work with. They have 13 adoptable cats that will be present at our brunch next Saturday. I know yes. there's a napkin around here somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> right somewhere. underneath here. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Well, yeah. that's really, it's really wonderful. And you also have, like you said, the bottomless mimosas. We do. Yes. yes. Bottomless mimosas come with your ticket and you get one brunch on. Woo! <laughs> there will also be live music, and it'll be a good time for, a, for like, a good cause. It sounds like a lot of fun, and I think, I just want to check in I with David over there. How are you doing, David? Oh, we're doing well over here. Yes, I just found out that Mork watches Channel 2 loyally. Oh, good, we good. We love that, and he has a sister named Mindy, so it's Mork and Mindy. Oh, how, cute. how cute. Are you taking him home, David? Is that I, what I'm picking up? I don't up? know. We need to have a little phone call with uh, Mr. <laughs> He's Gary. He's up for adoption. <laughs> he is and up Mr. For Marvin, adoption. for that matter, too. Let's get, huh? um, I don't know if our producers can do this. Can we get Gary Klein on the phone right now? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's Are you really doing up? this? Yeah. We're going to FaceTime him right now, and we're going to bring Mort home. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> He's taken off. David, we have bottomless mimosas. We're, we're workshopping a new name because... They really loved what Teddy came up with, with the Meow Mosa. Meow I Mosa. I love that. Meow Mosa. Yeah, yeah that might be a new name. All right, so this is actually happening, not this Saturday, <laughs> next, but next Saturday, Saturday. The 21st from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can find the tickets linked on my Instagram bio or on Eventbrite just underneath Catterday Brunch. And for people who don't know about you or yeah. don't follow you, tell, tell us a little bit more about you too. Yeah, so my name's Bella and I have a food page called 412 Food Girl, basically showcasing restaurants in Pittsburgh, having fun traveling um so yeah well let's say cheers and we're gonna send it back over cheers, cheers. what a great idea cheers. love Catterday brunch <laughs> david what do you want me to bring back over for you oh bring me a drink yeah that would be great <laughs>
Will you know do. what? I have everything I need though here with little Mork. Let me tell you. All right, don't forget <laughs> the Caterday brunch is Saturday, September 21st at the library on Carson. So this is not this Saturday, so it's next Saturday. The event is 21 plus and all the money raised will go to Fur All Kitties, which helps our feline friends like Mork here find loving homes. And on top of the special brunch theme, there will be plenty of photo ops, kitty cuddles, and live music by Madison Williams. And we have the link for tickets on our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. You're getting used to this, aren't you, Mark?